Hi, today I'm just going to give you a quick work through uh, of my workflow for aircraft photography. So here's some photographs I took yesterday. Um, basic edit is obviously crop off everything that you don't need. Try and get the, the whole aircraft if you if you can or if you want actually in there. I think that's a good that's a good crop. Um, but I'm going to use the content aware uh, masking to get rid of what a bit of a fence that's left over on the image after the crop and then those two orange and white posts that are in the background are very distracting in terms of catching your eye still a bit left over going to do a bit more there um, that's quite all right next thing i always do is sort of increase the uh, clarity on my images it gives it a bit more punch um, then push up the shadows as you see the aircraft is uh, in very harsh light Let's try and get some light in from the uh, underground uh, the underside of the aircraft uh, get that in there uh, happy with with the clarity sometimes I push up the blacks as well uh, just to increase the contrast but it's still a very sort of gray on gray image so my next uh, process is going for a background mask using the uh, Lightroom uh, AI uh, and it does a fairly good job of selecting the aircraft in this case uh, but as you can see there are there are bits uh, that the uh, overlay shows uh, where the mask hasn't done a good job uh, particularly in this part of the aircraft now you can add and subtract to the mask uh, to assist you in this process uh, i'm actually going to make sure that we take off this uh, rather than add because we want to make sure that those things are not captured by the following edit so make sure you have the uh, auto mask on and that allows you to get to uh, straight lines uh, very easily and very quickly um, so there are bits there, there's bits of the tail that haven't been done properly, uh, try and get those go those right. If you overdo it, like I've just done, uh, no worries because you can come back uh, and then add to uh, the mask. But there are bits, for example, within the wheels that haven't been caught. So those little triangles, uh, we need to make sure they're caught into the mask. Now I've overdone that wheel, but we'll correct it. And there's a bit between the tail and the engine there that isn't caught by the AI. Need to fix that. Um, need to fix that bit of the aerial. Uh, of the of the tail I'm afraid um, and just keep playing with this process until you are happy with your outline uh, the auto mask does work quite well uh, like uh, identifying that little aerial and I overdid it previously uh, at the back here of the engine and that space there so just tidying it up make sure that um, we're in there so um, met too much of the undercarriage has been caught by my previous work so just make make a smaller uh, brush and do that. So what I'm doing now is now that I'm happy with what the mask looks like uh, and obviously you're going to take more time than I have for these purposes. So I'm actually going to darken the background and what that does is pops up the aircraft quite a bit. So instead of being sort of grey on grey, like grey on light grey, uh, we're calling the depth uh, a bit more dark um, and I think it makes for a more impactful photograph without really changing um, the essence of the aircraft. So that's it, very quick and dirty um, workflow on uh, Lightroom masking uh, to help you with aircraft photography. Subscribe if you're interested in further subjects like this.